my name's Chris D. Uh, we're here in the, the new BTC building um, in Avonbridge in Bristol. And my role is primarily build, lead and assembly. So I'm responsible for the building of this car. I've been in this trade now for 40 years, <laughs> which makes me an old man. Uh, the majority of my work in life has been in motorsport. This Bloodhound project is to push the land speed record from its current 763 miles an hour with thrust SSC up to um, 1,000 miles an hour. We are now in the process of, of still developing and building probably the most complex vehicle ever known to man, you know, certainly that's going to run on the ground. There's probably only the Lunar Rover that was going to be more complex than this. Having said that, it's got four wheels, it's got suspension and it's got various engines. So, you know, the, the basis of any car that you would sit in and drive along the motorway is very much the same. This car has got a Rolls-Royce CJ200 engine and it's got a rocket. Um, it also has a high test peroxide tank which delivers the fuel for the rocket. Um, this is delivered through a, a Cosworth Formula One engine with a very, very sophisticated um, control system. My inspiration for land speed records um, really started at quite an early age. I was 11 years old, well 10, 11, and following the career of uh, Donald Campbell. And I was just amazed at what he was trying to achieve, not just with his car record, but obviously with the boat thing as well. You know, as, as, as a young person, you know, to see this guy and, and see just how daredevil he was, um, and here we are, you know, it's, it, we're now looking for a thousand. I mean, where will it stop? Richard Noble is Project Director of Bloodhound SSC. His background has always been in engineering and especially land speed records. Andy Green um, is our pilot, already holds two land speed records. One for the fastest um, jet car, which is Thrust SSC and he was also driver of Diesel Max, which is where I first got to know him and uh, worked with him. Working on the car at the moment, we have um, a set of engineers that are doing all the design work, stress and stuff like this. Um, there's probably in the region of about 25 of them. They have all got a motorsport background, so we all understand, you know, just how much um, you know, this project is similar to that. So for me personally, on a personal level, to set a new um, Guinness World Record for uh, the fastest car on the planet would just be absolutely fantastic. It would be probably the culmination of my, my, my own career. I mean, there's nothing compares. Road cars just will never be the same again, so. You know, you just think to yourself, this is a one-off opportunity to be part of history, really. <laughs>